You're watching IT Pro TV. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cool Features in Windows 10. Back in the studios with Mr. Adam Gordon. We've got a bunch of new cool things we want to talk about, so we're just going to turn it right over. Adam, what do you got for us today? So I've been rummaging around in that big old box we keep talking about of all the new features we have back there, and I came up with hopefully what you think is going to be a cool one. Uh, you know, I spend a lot of time, some of you may, uh, working with foreign language sites. Some of the work I do and the customers I have uh, that are not based in the U.S. And I spend a lot of time having to translate information back and forth. We probably all had this issue at some point. You find a document that may be of interest or a page that you go to. Uh, and there are many tools out there, right? We've all Googled for translation and stuff like that. No big deal. But I find that the more work I have to do, the more time I'm spending kind of chasing that, right? And I scratched my head and said, you know, th there's got to be a solution. I mean, I'm not the only one who has to deal with this, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that's thought about how we can make this easier. And sure enough, thankfully, I'm not. Thankfully, somebody, we don't quite know who, but somebody uh, at Microsoft, probably a group of somebody's, I'm thinking, mm -hmm. uh, thought about this and said, you know, we can do this as a web extension. And so I thought it was cool to show you the translator for Microsoft Edge extension. Join me, if you will. You can see right up on the screen here that we do have in the Microsoft Store this uh, particular extension, the translator for Microsoft Edge. Now, I went and searched for it, but I'm also going to show you that depending on how you have extensions set up in the Edge um, browser, and this is one of the things we'll just go take a look at in a minute, it may actually just pop up as a suggestion, because Microsoft uh, actually right. publishes some suggestions for various things, and I'm trying to figure out the algorithm. What I think is happening there is the more use you you give certain things, like, hey, I got to do a lot of translation, right. right, and I'm doing that a lot in the browser, they're kind of looking at some of that, and those suggestions seem to be pegged to certain activities you're engaging in. So when you go to search, uh, in the browser under the extensions tab area. If you don't see it, it may just be because you're not doing enough of that, so it's just not popping up, but you can definitely go search for it in the store, which is what I did. And so search for translator for Microsoft Edge. That's all you have to worry about. Uh, I was then able to go ahead and add it to my cart. It says launch now, and let me just zoom in here so you could see that, uh, because I've already added it to the cart, and I've gone ahead and installed it. So you could see uh, it does say it's installed, but you initially would start out with it add to cart and then install. And then once you've done that, uh, I'm gonna show you where you'll see it in the browser and how it works. But let me just show you if you were to search for another extension or something, if you've never done this before. So let's just go in uh, and search for one that's gonna come up in our next episode. We're gonna do another one on this cool other extension called Mouse Gestures. But let's say that I want to search for mouse and just see what's out there regardless whether it was mouse gestures or not, right? Uh, remote mouse, let's say, or something like that. Mouse phone, who knows what mm. that would do. <laughs> uh, and you'll see that when you search one of these, you can click get and or add to cart, and then you can go through the process of actually installing it. So I've done that already. I just want to show you what you would be doing if you go do this through the store. It is free, by the way, even though it might say when you click get or add to cart, hey, you have to purchase. It's a zero dollar amount. You don't have to actually purchase in the real sense. You just click through to finalize the acquisition, right? And then you install it. So just so you know about that. And then once you've done that, you can go to your browser. So I've opened up the Edge browser and I'm gonna go over here to settings and more, the little ellipsis at the upper right hand corner. And you'll see right down here, I've got extensions. And when I do this, you can see that the translator for Edge extension is available. As I said, we're gonna talk about the mouse gestures in an upcoming episode as well. Uh, and I've got some simple settings here, but the suggestions I was talking about that Microsoft puts in that allows you just to opt in right from the browser are listed here. It's about five or six of them at any one time, as you can see. Uh, and if you don't see the one you want down at the bottom, there is this explore more extensions, which just takes you right back to the store where we were. So you actually can just browse for it right from here if you want to do that. I did actually see that the translator was one of my suggestions when I went to install it, so I was able to get it right there. The mouse gestures one I'm going to show you in the next upcoming episode, I had to search for because it, it wasn't one of the suggestions. Okay. Because I don't ever have an external mouse. I'm always using a touchpad. Right. So probably doesn't see that as being something I would need. So yeah, it seems, like if it's, it seems like if it's something you do, like if you open a lot of pages that are in another language, they're all of a sudden going to suggest, hey, we notice you're opening pages that aren't what your operating system is set to. 
let's suggest this extension and you might find it useful. You do, yeah, I, I found it useful actually, so it was kind of cool. So I was able to get that. And what I wanted to show you, there's really no settings to speak of you have to worry about here. It's actually really straightforward. The only setting is just making sure it's turned on, right? And then once you install it and you uh, enable it, it's ready to go. You can uninstall, obviously, if you find this to, for whatever reason, just not to be to your liking. So we don't really have to worry about settings here per se. So once this is set up, the only thing that they do tell you when you go to enable this, right, for most of the extensions, you have to close the browser and open it again to get it to work. So I did have to do that just to be uh, totally transparent with you to make sure it's working the right way. So if you go to a foreign language site, and I've loaded a foreign language site up here, uh, qq.com is a social media site, one of the Chinese social media sites. So I just picked one that I know I could go to that we would be able to use, uh, but you could use any foreign language site. This translation extension does 60, over 60 languages, wow. according to Microsoft. So awesome. all the common ones you would think of that are very likely to be in use and some ones that are probably not so common, but you mm -hmm. might have a need for it. So it's actually really nice. So I've loaded up just a, a website in the browser, as you can see. <coughs> excuse me, and the extension will only show up in the URL address bar if it is a foreign language site. So you can see I'm pointing to it right there, but you'll see if I go to this particular site, which is in English, my native OS language, that that extension also exists, but obviously I'm not gonna use it to translate to English <laughs> to and from. I could translate this into another language if I wanted to, but the reality is, if I needed, I don't know, maybe to go to French, mm -hmm. whatever we would want to translate to, I could actually set it to always translate as well. And it will go ahead, and you could see it's actually modified the page, oh. right? So it's actually pretty cool. It does that for you. But if I start with a foreign language site, it will populate there. And I can just go ahead, tells you what the language is you're starting from, what you want to translate into. Can you read French? Should I, I was going to say, now Chinese things you want to read everything in French. Now, now yep. I do need English, right? <laughs> so we're going to go find English because I can't read enough French to do that. Uh, but I'll be able to translate this. And once I do, I'll just zoom out so you can see it. Uh, it actually translates, as you can see, um, not the masthead, so not the graphic, but you can see everything else that is words uh, uh, will be translated. And so you can see all of this that was in Chinese is now in English, right? Uh, and it happened really quick and almost yeah. didn't notice that it happened. It I mean, did, yeah. yeah. If I you know, was just kind of zooming along doing stuff, mm -hmm. uh, and I do quite a bit of this, so I'm in and out all the time, it is usually, depending on the size of the, the page and the amount of text, it's usually quick enough that I don't have to pause what I'm doing. It actually right. just kind of works in the flow. So it's, it's actually kind of neat. Yeah, that's very cool and very handy. If you do work with other languages uh, or you have to go to pages that are, are not written in your native language, this makes it really easy uh, to work with that. So Adam, we appreciate that look. Hope, hopefully everybody out there, oh, that's right, we need to do our rating. What shall we do? All right, so as we normally do at the end of the show, and I almost forgot, we're going to let you guys or give you our opinions, our thumbs up, thumbs down on the Microsoft Silence. Edge translator I'm extensions. Neutral. Oh, and we have the third option, thumb neutral. <laughs> All right, so drum roll for Adam's vote here. So I'm actually going to give this one a thumbs up. I like this one. I, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to give this thumbs up as well. This is something, it, it seems really lightweight, non-intrusive, uh, quick, easy to install. What more? And, and like want? the fact we can uninstall or turn off if we need to. Yes. So if yeah. there is a reason for you to do that, that would also be the case. So just yep. keep that in mind. But yeah, I, I do like this. I'm a fan. All right. So two thumbs up for the Microsoft Edge translator extension. Get out there and get it if you need it. Hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for more cool features in Windows 10. Thank you for watching IT Pro TV.